Hi, and welcome. Today, we're going to learn how to correctly set up your sheep shearing handpiece. Setting your handpiece up correctly is very important for two reasons. To ensure the safety of both the user and the animal being shorn, and it will improve the quality of the cut, resulting in more valuable wool. First, we will identify some of the key parts of your handpiece. If you have an oil bath handpiece, such as the shore grip, you will see a screw on the side of the handpiece. To follow this tutorial, you will need a handpiece, a comb, a cutter, shearing oil, three-point screwdriver, and a ferrule. There are four steps to setting up your handpiece correctly. To maintain your handpiece, you should use specialized shearing oil. Oil the tension pin cup and down into the fulcrum cup and post. This is best done before you position your comb and cutter. Let's start by slackening the tension using the tension knob and unscrewing the comb screws. With the sharpened face of the comb facing the forks, position your comb so that the heel of the comb aligns with the back edge of the comb screws. Using your fingers, tighten the comb screws, securing the comb but leaving room to adjust the comb. Lifting the fork body, Place your cutter underneath, sharpened face down. Position your cutter by locating the conical pins and sitting them inside the holes on the front of your cutter. Apply some tension to secure the cutter in place. Push the fork body as far right as it will allow. We need to ensure the outside edge of the cutter aligns with the outside edge of the comb. Secondly, we need the inner two teeth of the cutter to pass the central tooth on the comb completely on both sides. To set the lead, move the forks and cutter so that one of the inner teeth sits on top of the central tooth of the comb. As a general guide, you should aim to be able to see 1.5 mm between the tip of the cutter and the bevel of the comb. Tighten the comb screws firmly and apply tension. Oil the back spindle, drive cogs, crank roller, sliding sleeve, forks, as well as the comb and cutter. These oiling points, plus the oiling points at the start of the video, should be oiled approximately every 20 minutes. If you own an oil bath handpiece, such as the shore grip, you will have a screw on the side of your handpiece. Undo this screw and fill completely with oil. This should be done every two to three hours. Handpiece ferrules come with two different diameters, 19 mm and 22 mm. The type of ferrule that you need will be determined by the drive shaft you are using. To attach your ferrule, simply place it over your back spindle and screw it on until tight. Your handpiece will now be ready to attach to your drive shaft. Thank you for watching.